what's the uh, biggest difference in the newcomers of receivers last year as opposed to the, the newcomers this year? Is there a you know, just talent? getting them in. You know, Lamar and them have been here for the summer. We got Kevin. And, and, you know, the kid was here first for spring ball January. You know, Mario and them came in late. So, you know, the new guy, Lamar, been able to, to – uh, and Ricky was here early. You know, they've been able to go through it and learn through the summertime. So that's that's a big difference with those. These uh, JUCO guys, as opposed to these true freshmen. I mean, how much, how big is the learning curve with, with those guys? Um, it just depends on when you get them. You know, if you can get them in January, then they go through the spring, they go through the summer. If you get them in the summertime, then you know it's just like getting a true freshman. And, uh, I, I hope that the flash that Mario and them show toward the end of the season. I mean, and. I mean, they're they're more confident in themselves and, and what to do. So now, it's, uh, with Clint being named the starter, there a lot of continuity building during the summertime, and, and hopefully we can continue to, to build on that. When we were talking with uh, Kevin and Dekeel yesterday, and a question came up about you know who wants to break out, who wants to be the lead dog in the receiver, pool, right. you know, and. And basically, the answer from Kevin was very mature when he said, "We all want to be the guy, exactly. okay? but we need to play together." Who, who in your mind has the opportunity to break out, um, to have a season like uh, um, uh, Stephen Bailey did, or, or you know, give us some thrills, kind of like Tavon did? Right. This um, you know, it's hard. It's, it's hard to say, you know, because I don't want to compare those two to, you know, Stephen and Tavon because they're, you know, 27 touchdowns and for Stedman and then Tavon just being a different player. I mean, you know, just different than anybody I've coached before. Mario, Kevin, I mean, uh, any of them, I hope. You know, this is the second year in it. So, I mean, and I think I read something, which I normally don't read the paper and stuff like that, where people have done well. I mean, I know the background from Coach Hoverson and, and stuff like that, where people have done well the second part of the second year in the system. So, I mean, I'll take it. I mean, he's had the season where he's had four guys with a thousand yards. I mean, that, I mean, I'd take that right now. If somebody said, "Hey, coach, you gonna have four wideouts with a thousand yards apiece," then that means we're winning a lot of games. But that'd be a big, big advantage for having Clint here this summer, not having him last right. spring or summer. Uh, obviously, he was here in the spring, could do a lot, but right. he, was, he was well involved. But having him here for the summer, uh, are you seeing that? Uh, being a big benefit, is it starting to pay off in communication? I, I think so. I mean, they're they're getting on the same page, and uh, they know that Clint's the starter, and um, so the continuity between the guys and the first four or five guys that are going in with Clint, you know, you can see the summertime work, and you know, Clint's more confident and in himself, you know, from just watching him, knowing that I'm the guy. So uh, you know, the continuity is, is building, and that's how you win.